This video is brought to you by Astapro. More on them after the reaction, peeps. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is I, Andrew, and I am joined by my good friend, Roxy. That's true. We are good friends, right, Roxy? Hell How you yeah. doing, Roxy? You are like the most supportive dude. Really? Yeah, you do those IG reposts, man. It's like, it's a, blast like a blast from the past. past. Hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> Speaking of blast from the past, that is what we are here to react, as you could see in the thumbnail and the title of the video. This is a Brandon Fraser film. Let us know in the comments section what do you think of this film. Also, do all the YouTube things. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Hit that notification. That way you are notified whenever we drop a video like this. Also, special thanks to Prepper for all the hard work that they do. Appreciate you guys so much over there. Also, if you want the full length full reaction, reaction where you sync up with your own copy, it's where we call you super sexy. It's where you yeah. go to patreon.com slash real rejects. Also, Greg and John do so many exclusive other shows and movies over there. There's lots of highlights. Make sure you go join us. You also get to watch the whole thing with Roxy and myself. So anything that doesn't make it here on YouTube, you get the full experience over there all the gold <laughs> all the gold exactly <laughs> exactly it's like a blast from the past uh, yeah. that didn't work i don't know but that's okay it worked perfectly yes I, it was a blast from the past of 30 seconds ago exactly exactly anyways uh we are looking forward to this and without further ado you got anything else you want to add uh, no i just want to know that i am able to hit play and I'm a capable person, but I don't know. Is that this button? That's that button, but we're going to wait one second <laughs> oh, to yeah, hit that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to make sure I yeah. knew. <laughs> That's the button. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's get going with Blast from the Past. Okay. This song's a blast from the past. Oh, we're gonna, I'm okay, gonna over H-bomb. I'm gonna over Cold War. That. So now we know when we are. Mm, mm, mm. To my recollection, I'm not the best history buff. I believe the Cold War was 45 to 90. Does that sound right? So, mm. Like, did you watch The Americans? I have not. Oh, great show. Three decades of food. If you didn't know, Roxy is a TV show buff. That is true about me. Homies. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're in 62 <laughs> LA. <laughs> Just remember, don't mention the communists. <laughs> You know, what a star. Likes to cook. Oh, Steve? I know Steve Dorf. Yeah. That's that's Stephen Dorf's father. Is it? I knew him personally, that's why. You can mention Stephen Dorf, but don't mention communists. A duck well, walks into a drugstore. Did you know? I knew Christopher Walken was in the film. Now. He looks so young. How's that? Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> oh. I can't do it. <laughs> I could take a simple yacht battery and rig it to last a decade easily. That's crazy. I could not do that. Calvin, think about this trouble down in Cuba. Oh, oh the Cuba Missile Crisis, right? No little history. Hey, Calvin, uh, Kennedy is going toe to toe. I was just going to say we're in Kennedy. Yeah. With Khrushchev on television yeah, right he was, now. He was definitely. He's yeah. about to be pissed about Bay of Pigs. That a series of offensive <laughs> missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. Yep, and then he wants to dismantle the CIA, and that's why they killed him. Don't get me started about the conspiracy theories. Don't get me. Don't uh, get you, me going you, about you, Kennedy. You probably just opened a can of worms <laughs> in the comment section. Well, I got a problem here. I got a problem. Why are they an emergency? Stand by one. What's the problem? I think it's prudent we cut this evening short. Prayerful watch and wait stance. That guy right next to Christopher Walken, yeah. he was in Police Academy, which was also directed by the same director, Hugh Wilson. Very good eye you have. Calvin, I wish you would have at least let me do the dishes. I just hope those plates are not radioactive by tomorrow. It's always smart to have a fallout shelter, just in case. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you live through the 40s, you definitely were Boy, scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tower. Oh, that's convincing that CGI. A wild shot. It's a comedy. We'll let it go. Yeah, yeah. It's also 1999 too. So. Yeah, this isn't Masters of the Air. So how long will we have to stay down here? This thing to blow over it could take days. Oh, is this like the start of Kimmy Schmidt? They come up like in decades. Oh, I never saw that. Honey, what if I go into labor? That could happen any time. I'll deliver the baby myself. Yeah, I bet they think there's still issues. They don't know when to come up, and they stay down there for a long time kind of thing. 
oh, that's probably gonna like is that gonna hit their house or something? That might hit their house, and they're gonna think it's a nuclear bomb. Is my guess that the, that pl- yeah, that particular plant yeah. of all the places to to land. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now they think it was a it was a nuclear blast. Oh. And they Makes can't sense. get out, and nobody knows they're under there. Probably also. It's actually a good thing they went in there. That saved their lives. Yeah, it did. Oh, it's happening. Oh, look at that heat. The heat. He thinks it's nuclear. Yeah. Knock that. Oh, Lord. Oh, my it's God. I am so sorry. What's the name of this movie? Blast from the past. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blast. There's a radiation half life. Astronomic blast last 35 years. Oh my god. Oh, so right. So they raised the kid down here. Yeah. According to Caltech, this Weber guy was a bona fide genius. They think he died in there. I mean, what a good start to a movie. Yeah. Neighbors over there said the guy spent day and night out here to bring him sandwiches and hot Dr. Damn. Pepper. That house was decimated. You drink it hot? Yeah. It's weird to drink your soda hot. Yeah, that doesn't. I mean, I don't drink soda anymore, but when I did, neither, room temperature sound does enticing. not sound good. Hot. Well. Don't go all carry on him. Feeling better? No. We have to be strong. How much food do they have in there for that many years? This is just like home. No, Calvin. This is different. Would you like a tranquilizer? <laughs> yes, please. You've got tranquilizer? I told you I've had everything. Oh. Uh, oh, huh. Right. Do you have medical equipment for Do the baby? Do you have an epidural? <laughs> yeah. Several, Several days, days later. later. Yeah, don't show us that birth. Thank you. I mean, yeah, it's always good to be prepared. Imagine how you would th- feel 35 years later when you finally do come up and you realize you didn't have to be down there. Yeah, that would, uh, I mean, like I said, better to be safe than sorry. But yeah, that would be a, a trippy I've feeling. I've never agreed with better to be safe than sorry. But again, if they had not gone down in there with the point. We should call him Adam. That's not sacrilegious, is it? Mm. And I was wondering if I want a bedroom ceiling. Still can't do it. You got it. Is that it? Okay, I tried it. I think you got it. It's just snap at the same time and then if I got it. Roxy's such a good teacher. (laughs) See, he was doing it so fast, but she explained it in a way I could like follow. That's what I'll say about me. And the image is projected onto a mirror. And the picture comes out here. And it's perfect. Almost perfect. <laughs> oh, Jackie Gleason. People will never get tired of watching this. I would get tired of watching The Honeymooners for sure. <laughs> One year later, oh my God, look at her grocery uh, shopping. Yeah, grocery shopping in her own place. I like it. What are you doing back here? Examining this rear hatchway. It's pretty clear that when the bomb went off, the front entrance caved in. So, you know, we'll have to return to the surface using this back entrance. Did he say it was 35 years is how long they have to wait? Before. The radiation fallout. But they must be in their 30s, like, yeah, or like 40s. Yeah, mid, mid to late 30s or yeah, early so 40s. Yeah, so I guess 35 years, be in their 70s. Future site of 60s, mom's depending. Malt, malt shop. Oh, my God. They find them. But it's some kind of oh. septic tank. i never seen a septic tank that looked like that. If it is a septic tank, I sure as hell don't want to open it. We'll just lay the foundation over it. Oh, uh. my God. Lay the foundation over it. Oh. Look, Daddy. Alice went down a hole just like us. <laughs> will I ever oh. get to go up on top? You certainly will. And you'll find a nice girl. Rebuild America just the way it used to be. It's good foreshadowing. Believe me, something is moving around up there. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm going to need two more banana splits and a cherry Coke. I think that's that actor we were talking Joey, what's his name? Oh, what a riot. <laughs> Still laughing at this. She's like, we've seen it 80 times. <laughs> that's wild for him though too like growing up watching the same i wanted to shows. turn to him and be like you're cheating on me <laughs> <laughs> yes clearly honey <laughs> oh yeah i would have to drink a lot i would drink so much i mean what what, what else is there yeah. to do <laughs> oh 71 we just did a six-year jump yeah that didn't look like a six-year jump See the 
Interesting concept, though. He's growing up in a fallout shelter. It's like Pleasantville kind of right now. I love that movie. Well, that movie came out one year before this. At least he grows up seeing love. Yeah, for sure. And his mom drinking a lot of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he desires that one day. Hey, spring 75. Wait, is it not a malt shop anymore? It's a Seems bar like a bar now. I miss those nice flower power kids. How about you? Because well, we're in the 70s now, baby. These are stock certificates. <laughs> Your mom and I bought them for you. Stocks. Of course, they're worthless now, but at one time they were quite valuable. Oh my god, he might be talking about foreshadowing. I hope he's a million. It's my baseball card collection. What's baseball? Good question. Kid does look like a young Brandon Frazier. See, there's a there's a picture. Oh, like a painting. True. Picture. Like one of mom's? It's hard to explain this one. Yeah. He said it's easy to there's explain. There's a man who throws the ball to a man who <laughs> has a bat. Oh, the nocturnal flying mammal. No. Bat. It's, it's going to be <laughs> the nocturnal so, flying It's going to be so hard for him, I feel like, to adjust. Look, when look at he, her and her booze in her shoes. Are we in the 80s now? 90s. So, so 90s. now we're going to get Brandon Frazier. Like 90s, he must be of age, right? Is it, I like seeing the time, uh, like we're a representation of time jumps with, with this place, the mall shop, and now this. So many no, questions no. about what they're Listen, using for a bathroom. I'm only going to explain this one more. Like their sink, where's everything? He goes to third. He's out there. Oh, he's still explaining baseball? <laughs> the birthday to you and many more. Blow out the candles. Make a wish. I want to see the surface. Oh, Pajamas? boy, a jacket. A jacket. I made these. Holy cow. What the heck are these? It's your roller, roller skates. skates. Oh. Yep. Oh. I redesigned them. Old school. Really swell. I mean swell. Term we all used in the 90s. I wish that I could meet a girl. Nice one. Yes, ma'am. Doesn't glow in the dark, I hope. Calvin Weber, what a thing to say. We'll be going up in two years. We'll know then. Mm. Very hopeful. Glow in the dark from the radiation. You know, when we do go up, we're going to miss this place. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting surprise. <laughs> well, how are they going to get up? Oh, right, because that place is interesting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you. I uh, feel you, Mama. I probably have to do that a lot. Okay, present day. Let's go. The scream room. I like that it says present day also when this movie comes out. 99. Okay. <laughs> All right. 35. What was it? 62 yeah. is when they went in? It's about that time. Would you hate your parents if when you got up there, it'd be so hard not to. <sighs> like they didn't do it hate on purpose. Hate is such a like, strong word. Uh, but for 35 years, they kept you in a bunker. I would be upset. I don't know if hate is the word. Yeah. It'd be so hard to forgive them though. They're not going to be able to, going to be sealed over. This is the elevator. Okay. <laughs> Do we just go on up? We wait for night. Oh shit. <laughs> Pardon a French son. Shit is French? <laughs> well, it's archaic French. It's sixteenth century colloquialism, meaning roughly good. Mm, learn something new. I like it. Well <laughs> shit. Huh. Oh my god. It's this is going to be an interesting fish out of water. Yeah. <laughs> but like fishes out of water. Oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Alcoholics Anonymous, Cocaine Anonymous, uh, Heroin Anonymous. There's a Heroin Anonymous? Will you please? It's just called N.A., bro. I have lifted my eyes skyward a time or two, and I certainly have not seen anything coming from up there. Well, something going to come up from the ground and through the floor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. Let her come. Let her come. Let's get this over with. Oh, my God. All right. If those are the people you first saw when you got up. Yeah. Well, you would think from the fall, yeah. like these are, <laughs> must have survived the blast. Oh, for I have seen the light. My name and is like, Darth Vader. If this happened Vader. to you, do you own this land still then? I don't think they do do anymore because it was sold to them. They but, had the mulch. But I, they didn't get the money. I come peace. in peace. The mask. Leave my elevator alone. 
<laughs> sure, bro. Okay, now we're getting into the second act. We need hit me with those uh, lols, baby. Loving the setup. Uh, Bring us in. This is not the same world you you left. What happened? In my backyard. Huh. Oh, yeah, right. We said we were in Los Angeles yeah. in the beginning. Got a light, honey? A light. Yes. Oh, he's going to give it the full. Good. Thank you. Well, they had cigarettes in the 60s. True. Did you say you were a country boy? If you want a boy, I can be a boy. And if you want a girl, I can be a girl. <laughs> get out of here, you old drunk. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Whoa. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, God. <laughs> Adult videos. Oh. There were survivors, apparently, in the fallout. <laughs> That's one way to describe people in the late 90s. Cover your son at home. Others, multisexual. It seems they can be both. <laughs> yes. I don't believe, believe it. it. He tried to sell me his body, Helen. <gasps> Different time, people. Yeah. It's like some things age really well, some are like, okay. We stay down here. We won't make do. Not me. Not Adam. We're going up. Mm. Oh, do as I say. Oh, no. Is he having a heart attack? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Let's get into the bedroom. He seems to be doing all right now. Was it a stroke? I don't know if he had a heart attack or just a horrifying experience. Might just, yeah, been a panic attack. I've got to stay with him. I'll go up. I'm afraid you must. I'll be all right. <laughs> just act oh normal. If anyone asks, simply say, I'm from out of town. Do you have money? Now I'm going to give you a shopping list and some money. Oh, no. Just enough things to get us through the next year. We had currents. I mean, still American money. Yeah, then but in the gonna... 60s versus the 90s, how much did it cost? Right, right, right. Probably give them $20 for all their groceries. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I, I was wondering, um, you know, while I was up there and all. I, Can I meet a girl? I, I was wondering if maybe I could uh, meet a girl. Hey. I've been thinking about that a little, just these last 15 years or so. That's so <laughs> endearing. It would be wonderful if you could meet a girl, one who's not a mutant. <laughs> oh, and son, there's also something called a liquor store. This looks like hundreds, Roxy. Were they? Yeah. Damn. I guess it's probably their whole life savings. Yeah. <laughs> Where there's the ta ta uh, the stocks, I think. Oh, yeah. Might be worth a lot. Who knows? We shall see. Stay out of the adult bookstore. <laughs> Why? Poison gas. Invisible. Don't forget. I promise. Okay. <laughs> if you find a healthy young woman, bring her on down. Yes, sir. Hmm. wonder if Alicia Silverstone would agree to live down there. It's no, but be the he might like kidnap her because he doesn't know how to like. I don't. The dad I, to bring her down. He, he might did, be like. He doesn't seem like a guy who would. No, I don't mean like me, like like a little kid would do. You know, he doesn't yeah. have the skill set. Uh. Yes. Oh, oh, Lord, yes. <laughs> Are you the one who came last night, all all in yellow? That was my father. <gasps> oh, of course. <laughs> Can you forgive me for my wasted life? Everything has been so awful. I know it has been terrible, but it's not your fault. <laughs> it's never, never too late to rebuild yourself, sir. This is a good while hunting moment. It's not your fault. I have to go now. Will you be back? I promise. <laughs> I mean, it would change your whole life if you thought that the father and the son had. <laughs> I just want to know how he's affording the rent to that place still. Seems like all his business is gone. These are the questions we need answered, Roxy. Well, what area of town are we in? This is a cool shot. Yeah. It's very uh, Bruce Almighty. What is it? The sky. Oh, yeah, he's never seen it. I don't see anything. Just look. What is it? Is it a bird? <laughs> a plane? I see something. Okay, he's going to be fascinated by everything. everything. I see it, Mommy. I have never in my life seen anything like it before. It's cool that the kid sees it. like you. Oh. It's going to be like the happiest at? guy in oh, all of LA. I've never what? seen somebody. <laughs> oh my God. Is this, is this Ventura and Sherman? Uh, Bro, how do you do, man? I do all you hear right. him? Did you hear what he called? No, what uh, did he say? I, I tried to give the driver this, but he wouldn't take it. Oh boy. Here we go. It's like a roller coaster ride for him right now. So this is public transportation. My father says it becomes more and more important because of pollution, which is more and more carbon dioxide and other hazardous gases in the air. 
You know where I can find a grocery store? They didn't want to pay that guy to speak. Uh, the, the, that's a grocery store. There, there we go. Where? Where? Giving him an under five. Okay. Thank you. Please stop the bus, sir. Stop the bus. <laughs> You know, it's interesting, too, because two years before this, he was in Georgia the Jungle, where he was a fish out of water, too, and he went to San Francisco. Obviously, different scenario here. I'd like to get some all-beef patties. Fresh or frozen? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> frozen. <laughs> How much are they? Frozen, there's six thirty a dozen in the three-pound box. Not bad. My mother only gave me $3,000 for everything. You could get a meat order that big delivered to your home. Oh, well, that's terrific. <laughs> Except it just occurred to me that I don't know where home is. Oh. I'm lost. Do you know where I live? No. Will you please excuse me? Gladly. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> gladly. Oh, this is so great. This is just so great right now. Driver, please stop the bus. Oh my God, he has no idea where he's going. I think he's just going where the wind bl blows. Hey. Baseball. Yes. Don't spend your money on that, though. Although these are a lot older than the ones in the window, I was hoping that you still might be interested. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> what you want for this Mickey Mantle rookie season? I was oh, hoping to sell all of the cards. That is so rare. How about I'll give you $500 in small bills for the whole box? That is worth so much more than that. Ah, shit. Working here, Evie Poo. Don't screw me up. Yeah, I can see you're working all right. She's not going to let him get screwed over. I'm from out of town. I'm here on business. Well, your business must not be sports memorabilia, because this one mantle card right here, worth $6,000 all by itty bitty Yeah, self. she's not letting screwed over you know why you can't keep a goddamn job because you can't keep your goddamn mouth shut excuse me sir but i would really appreciate it if you wouldn't take the lord's name in vain again <laughs> you got a problem with that partner i have a big problem with that his father <laughs> taught him how to fight i'll walk you out yes ma'am so my name's adam <laughs> are we not roxy are we not gonna say the element elephant in the room what what you got bad girl right there and then the villain who was supposed to be in the bad girl film just saying i love her top where are you staying I don't know. Holiday Inn. Yes, the Holiday Inn. That's exactly right. See, I'm psychic. I mean, not completely, but pretty much. <laughs> great interaction. Uh, yeah. Really good writing. They also have great chemistry. Do you own a car? Rule number one in North America, no strangers in the car. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, I don't have a gun. <laughs> well, that changes everything. Get away from me. I'm sorry. I said something wrong, didn't I? Wait, I'll, I'll make you a deal. I will give you a Rogers Hornsby if you take me to the hotel. Rogers Hornsby's worth like $4,000. Jesus. This many Larry Yogi Berras. Oh my God. Is it worth so much? And I don't have to take a physical in your spaceship? No, ma'am. What? What? Uh. Mind if I change the station? Better traffic reports on AM. No, sure. Even, uh... Wait. What? You recognize the song? Yeah. Uh, I could die. <laughs> Over this? How do you learn that terminology? This mom and dad. I could die uh -huh. right now. This is where it really takes off. Wait for it. Look at her face. <laughs> Look who's talking. Look how you drive. I thought she was just going to get hit. I think she's just trying to get rid of him as fast as possible. I can't help it. Harry Como always does this to me. I just get so strange. <laughs> That was wonderful. I've never felt anything like that before in my life. Yeah, same here. Don't forget your suitcase. Right. No. Mm. I would like to stay at this hotel. Fill this out, please, and I'll need to see a card. A card? Yes, sir. Oh. A baseball card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think she knows how much yeah. that card's worth. She's like, yeah, yeah, you're good. She thinks it's like him handing him mo like her money. Wow. A nice holiday. I want him to start asking people about what they did during the bunker time. Like, oh, you uh, dial nine to get out of what? The hotel. <laughs> uh, I think he's taking that literally. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let bed bugs bite. That's what my mom always says. I'm really beginning to miss, by the way. It's my first night away from home. Oh. How old are you? 35. You don't look 35. How old do I look? 25, around there. I guess living up here makes people look older. True. Stress will do, you, do that to you. Up here on the 18th floor? Yes. Up here on the 18th floor. Oh, yeah. He's not trying to tell people where he's from. Yeah. What a crazy view that would be. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was... Yeah, because he's literally <laughs> lived underground his whole life. He started screaming. What the hell am I yeah, doing what, here? What are you doing? Maybe... 
he scammed her or it was like a weird card or maybe he forgot something in her car this is the woman from the baseball card store remember me oh yes uh, hi hello hot diggity dog <laughs> thanks for calling me on the telephone <laughs> He's like really handsome too, so it would be so confusing. I can't take this for driving you home. I wish I could, but I can't. So here, take She's it back. Got a conscience. I would have left it at the front desk, but it's very valuable. Now take it. I can't take that. It's yours. Take it, damn it. He hasn't brushed his teeth or something. Why are you doing that? Because I haven't brushed yet. Roxy with the call. I knew this would happen. You're like a lost puppy. Taking the money and run. That's what Troy told me to do. But who's Troy? Your husband? A boyfriend? No. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like me. Are you sure? You know what? A lot of guys like, not me exactly. It's more like my legs or my butt or my hair. Mm. I think it's the eyes. <laughs> Great. An eye man. Anyhow, it never works out. Okay? Not that you even need to know that. She's awesome. Why doesn't it ever work out, you and men? Okay, if you promise to leave me alone, I'll tell you why. <laughs> Dating in LA, it's not easy. Because I am into legs and hair and butts myself. That's why. So I wind up with guys who are very good looking, but even more shallow than I am, if you can picture that. <laughs> why not go to work for me? Why helping me sell all my baseball cards and buying enough food and supplies to fill several large trucks? <laughs> who for? Like starving people? Oh, well, they're not starving yet, but they do need help. <laughs> Well, how long would you need me for? Two weeks. What's the pay? What's fair? I gotta make at least a thousand dollars a week. Nineteen ninety nine. That's not bad. Father of mine. Let's go. You got it. Wait here while I get changed. Sure. I will buy you one. Pipe tobacco. I'm gonna need all of this. Toilet paper. Does he remember how to get back to? No. Something I would do. Nice job, Adam. He doesn't know how to drive. You stop staring at me. All right. I'll pick you up at 8 in the morning. The stocks. I want to know how much they're worth. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. I genuinely think he's probably going to be a, bi a millionaire. I think we're also going to have to get another locker. Just sell another baseball card. Coming down. Okay. I feel like she's warming up to him. Don't get mad, okay? But I would just be lost without you. Thanks. He's definitely different than anyone she's ever met. I think that you and I... Adam, don't even think about it, okay? I'm sorry. I know that sounds mean, but believe me, it'd be a lot meaner if I didn't say it, okay? Oh. Eve, I want you to help me find a wife. Why? Because I don't want to be alone. Well, you can be single and not alone. Marriage... Bites. Bites one. The big one. Huh. I didn't know that. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I didn't know that. My divorced mom and dad. They're all divorced? Everybody's divorced. I wonder what the divorce rate was when his parents yeah. went under. It was probably a lot lower. I'd like to marry someone from Pasadena. <laughs> what do you need her by? <laughs> Two weeks? Well, I can probably get you laid in two weeks, but to locate a non-mutant wife from Pasadena it takes some time. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> he is so, like, I, I just believe him. Yeah. What do you mean you can get me laid? <laughs> can we talk about that a little later? Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought that was her driving first because we saw how crazy she was driving. You almost got us killed. I told you I've never driven before. We'll never drive again. You said it would be easy. Well, I was wrong. See him drive in Nathan Fillion. How do you do? I do fine, Adam. May I ask you a question? He's a former boyfriend. We lived together for about six months. I was going to ask you why Cliff likes to wear another man's underpants. <laughs> This guy is unbelievable. Dave Foley. I knew you'd like him. They're rolling their own sushi. I've always wanted to do that. Well, I hope you like this. It's fresh sea urchin wrapped in seaweed or nori, if you prefer. I love sushi. I love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? She's hilarious. <laughs> well, dinner's in 15. Why don't we sit down and chat? How's he going to do with the sushi? Where on earth are you from? It's a very small place. And it's called? Maybe Eve can guess. She's psychic. Well then, Miss Dion Warwick, why don't you tell us what town he's from? Oh my god, I love Dion Warwick. I'm not promising anything. <laughs> oh my god, he's dying over her stroking his hand. Oh yeah. I see snow way up north. Are we getting hot? Yes. <laughs> I love them. You definitely came here for food and supplies and to find a wife. Wow. That was right. Why wouldn't you just go to Nome to get supplies and a wife? Isn't that a lot closer? <laughs> yeah, right. That's where you'd go to find girls. Where's Nome? He's gay, by the way. Well, good for you. 
He thinks it means happy. When did Alaska become a state? 1959. And uh, who owned it before we did? Russia. All right, what's the state capital? Juneau. Juneau. Hello, it's Anchorage. Gotcha. No. It's Juneau. Yeah. That's the largest city. <sighs> Blockbuster video. Is he really looking it up? It's Juno. He's going to check your answers on his computer. Oh. He has a computer? Sure. In the house? <laughs> no, actually, it's in the backyard. Of course it's in the house. It's in there. Now it could be in the backyard. <laughs> oh. oh, she's going up. Oh, my God. This man, when he sees her, is going to think she's like Mary or something. <laughs> All right, I'm going back down. I suppose those tall buildings we saw this morning are new. Recovery's impressive. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, they rebuilt the freeway in only six months. That's amazing. I'm very impressed. Got a wardrobe makeover. Looks good. Really good. So, what do you think? It works. Uh-huh. First, let's show her these. Hey, giving them the eyes. No, first, let's show her these. Eve, can I skate around your block? <laughs> How about it, Eve? Can you skate around your block? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, now we know where we are. Venice? Of course. I have not been there in so long. Really? Yeah, it's been a while. Oh my god, you gotta go. It's the best. <laughs> I'm anxious to see her reaction when she figures out where he's from. Oh. The water. That's his first time seeing an ocean. You think he's going to try to, like... Okay. Oh, no. Does he know it? I mean, does that teach him how to swim? I don't know. Maybe just put his, like, what, run into it. Oh, he just wants to feel yeah. the water. It's the facial reactions for me. Like I love him. Oh, yeah, he's really doing a good job of selling that he's lived in a fallout shelter his whole life. I'm like smiling ear to ear during this. Oh, hit that ball. <laughs> oh, finally get Baseball. Yeah. <laughs> How he's experienced. It's it's so cool to see him experiencing things for the first time. Totally. But as an actor, that's so difficult to have to do. Uh, you still want to go girl hunting tonight? Oh, yes, I certainly do. But I mean, you know, this whole business of finding your wife, it's pretty ridiculous, don't you think? No, it isn't. Well, yes, it is. We getting a little jealous? A girlfriend, maybe, but a wife. Well, then help me find a girlfriend. That's all I ask. Mm -hmm. I'll give you every single card I've got. Screw you. You think I'm just somebody you can buy off? Would you do it because you're my very best friend? Hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, is that an actual club in LA? Club I don't Force? know club for it is. What? Ladies first, Troy. That was close. That was close. My goodness gracious, this place is something. Look unimpressed. Yeah, bored even. Unimpressed, but still interested. Not crazy. Do we look crazy? Yes. <laughs> I want to go here so bad. Yeah, it looks cool. My mother always said that when you meet someone for the first time, it's always easier to remember their names if you use those names right away, Jason and Jonathan. <laughs> Is that true, Roxy? I do think so. Hi, I'm Sophie. Hi, how do you do? I'm Adam Weber. Adam lives in Alaska. Vous parlez français? Moi, je parle un peu français. Oh, you speak beautiful French. J'habite à Paris un an. Because she said shit. And if we want a good show ensemble. Does that mean let's dance? What are you drinking? Oh, this is a Rob Roy. It's a very popular drink, I'm told. You heard of that drink? Yeah. I think for you, we should aim for sweet. Mm -hmm. There's some sweet over there by the hors d'oeuvre table. Yeah, it could be. What do I say to her? Oh, say something surprising. Lie if need be. Lying can be a very effective dating tool. It's very true. You scare me. I'm trying to help Adam right now. Just kidding, Adam. Be yourself. I what What's the uh, lie? You know, I've lost my Congressional Medal of Honor around here somewhere. <laughs> now that's a great one. <laughs> that's an innocent lie. <laughs> Adam Weber. Hi, I'm Heather. I don't believe I've ever heard that name before. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, do you dance? Now, why, I took a dance lesson every day of my life up until a couple of days ago. <laughs> You're kidding. No, no, I didn't. Oh my God, he's the worst dancer, though. It's going to be amazing. I feel like it's going to be good dancing. Like, no, he's goofy. You saw him dance for the YMCA thing. What? I feel like that's because he was just showing him the YMCA. Maybe, but, maybe. I, th- I mean, oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's I go. Mean, he's been dancing his whole yeah. life. Yep, I love this. I literally cannot stop smiling. I love this movie. Damn. So he's been doing that to his mom. <laughs> Whoa. Like how we're getting wide shots yeah, so we know too. it's Brendan yeah. Fraser doing it. Uh, she's falling for him hard. Well, at least she's feeling jealous. Oh my God. That is so great. Oh my god. You're not from Alaska. There are no starving people, are there? What, you think I'm some kind of sap, do you? No, I don't. I fell in love with you the very moment that I saw you. Eve, I think you're the most- I want you to stop lying to me. All right. Uh. Well, well, well. Don't we clean up nice? Do miss that green sport coat of yours. Oh, I thank you, Cliff. Uh, but that's my seat. And I was just about to- I had a drink up at the bar. Uh. Oh no. Sure. God, I yeah. hate girls who love toxic behavior. Been there, babe. Not for years, but I don't miss it. Ugh. Yeah, she's in a jealous fit right now, too. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know about fit. Oh, yeah. I mean, just mood, rather. Adam, why don't you go home? Go back to the hotel. Yeah, before I kick your ass. Uh, You couldn't. He's trained. I do know how to defend myself. Oh, do you? Oh! Yeah, he's right. Maybe we shouldn't fight it. I agree. He's sucker punching. Ooh! I'm leaving. That's Eve. probably a good idea. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Dude, two sucker punches you tried on him? And you know what? If you want help, you can ask Troy because I quit. Why? Okay. He's going to tell you the truth, too. He's golden retriever energy, and I love him so much. He go back to the hotel? No, we did not leave together. Well, who did he leave with? What's that to you? I'm his pimp. <laughs> Where are you going? To bed. To bed. I'm not the one that's in love with the guy. What? <laughs> in the first place, I do not fall in love with weirdos who I've only known for four or five days. Yes, you do. Oh, I, that's not, it's only been four or five days, huh? Oh, you know what else he told me? He thinks I'm a gentleman and you're a lady. Well, consider the source. Hmm? I don't even know what a lady is. I feel you, girl. The short and simple definition of a lady or a gentleman is someone who always tries to make sure that the people around him or her are as comfortable as possible. Where do you think he got all that information? Definitely not from Alaska. His parents. I mean, I don't think I got that memo from mine. <laughs> well, I suppose he's trying to make those dancers feel as comfortable as possible. He didn't go home with them. He didn't go home with them. <laughs> that reaction says it all. <laughs> he went home with Sophie. Oof. <laughs> Not Sophie. Not Sophie. Don't tell me that. So what you gonna do? Go down to her place and kick the door in? Yep. Goddamn right I am. Let's go, baby. Go get your man. Oh, it's him. Oh, ow. I I, I was just gonna say. I know. And then, then she. I know. I know. She, nothing I do with her ever seems to be right. Well, ever for That's because friends. you're a nice boy. But what Eve needs is a nice man. Hmm. You still here? Now let me help you. No, I can do it myself. I know more about first aid than you know about baseball cards. Now give me this stuff and sit down. <laughs> okay. I'm sure that's true. He's probably have to address like so many wounds. Give me your knee. See the damage. Um. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think this is very sweet. I was thinking sexy, so. <laughs> well, that too. Did you go to Sophie's? Of course. And. <laughs> She was hospitable. Hospitable? But it wasn't where I wanted to be, so mm. I left as politely as I could, and I found a taxi, and I told the driver to bring me here instead of back to the hotel. A true gentleman. There is a song that Mr. Como sings called On the Street Where You Live. Do you know it? Sing it to me. <laughs> I have often walked down this street before, but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before. All at once am I several stories high. 
This feels like poor things, kind of. A young man who's overjoyed just to be standing in front of the house. Oh my god, I love them. That he loves. Oh, does he know how to kiss? What's he going to do here? That's a good question. He seems to be doing okay. So far, so good. You know... <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed with them. I know, I know this is stupid. But you humor me. I've never had sex before. <laughs> no. How is that possible? You better sit back down. Is she going to believe him? <laughs> in 1962, when the bomb was dropped on Los Angeles, my parents were in our fallout shelter. That's where I was born. What I would like to do is to take you with me down into the fallout shelter. We could live there with my mom and dad. Oh, no, she's probably so free. I think it's time to call a cab. You're, you're absolutely right. I, I really shouldn't be over here at this late hour. Do you think she bought it or no? I think she thinks that he, maybe he thinks that, but he's crazy or that he's a liar. I think the first one. Just give us some sort of sign! Perfect timing. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> She's gonna, he's going to tell her, like, I know where I live now. Hi. Uh, psychiatrist? Oh, no. Uh, Hi, Adam. I'm Nina Aaron. Hello. How do you do? Uh, Eve tells me you've been living in a bomb shelter most of your life. She's worried about him. We want you to come with us so we can talk some more about your experiences. I was lost, but I found home this morning. And if I can just go home, I promise I'll never bother any of you ever again. Oh, no. So she thinks he's crazy? I mean, understandable. What? What was I supposed to do? He told me he wanted to take me underground. That's like Silence of the Lambs. It's crazy. That's true. Yeah, it's a tough position to be in. It's hard to... Oh. He's running. Oh. Adam! Don't get in your truck! Watch your Thanks for always being happy. Is she gonna follow him with her car? Oh! Hey, everybody keep calm. That's the important thing. Who are you talking to? She's breaking a little. See, she was Alicia Silver. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, I can see that. This is amazing. I'm home! Oh, oh he brought down the. I've got almost everything we need, and this nice man and his church group have volunteered to help bring it down. But we've got to hurry. I think I'm being chased by a psychiatrist. <gasps> How bad is it up there? Horrible. There's something on your forehead. I know. I know. Maybe when she goes to get the baseball cards, there's some kind of clue of where he lives. I don't know. Well... What are we going to do with him? Get back to him. Uh, and what if we can't find him? We'll find him. Oh, the stocks. There, you called that earlier. All the stuff must make her kind of believe him. Like with the stocks, they're going to be like, what? These are from 60s. Yeah. It's stock certificate. It's got like IBM and AT&T and Polaroid. Oh my God. That's got to be worth a crap ton. Look at this. It says trademark 1961. He's not crazy. Does toothpaste last? 10,000 shares of E. Mm -hmm. They'd be worth million. Hell, I don't know. Millions upon millions. Upon millions. Oh my God. The stocks, the baseball cards, the clothes, the toothpaste. The guy's on the level. A man walks into your life who's the kindest, most polite, most incredibly rich guy you've ever met. <laughs> And I have him committed. Yes. <laughs> At least I fell for him before I found he was rich. That's new. That's a good point. That's new. Mm -hmm. Where'd you guys go this morning? Just to pick up frozen poultry. Then back to the house. You didn't stop anywhere? You did because you walked inside. Yeah, we stopped at this adult bookstore. Adam was very excited to see it. Adam was very excited to see Yes. <laughs> Do you think maybe his home is underneath a dirty bookstore in the valley? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the place. Oh no. Watch out for the was it invisible poison gas. Oh my god. He's like, what the f uh can I help you guys? Oh my god, Adam. I like how they're covering up everything. Is there a back entrance or something? Are you kidding? Of course. Nice kid. Nice kid. Oh my god. Oh, they just missed the truck too. Eve, this is Adam. Look, I just wanted to thank you for everything you did oh, for no. me. This is the best movie ever. I wish so many good things for you. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with him. 
I wish so hard that all of your dreams come true. And that's all. I wish so hard that all your dreams come true. I feel like something's about to happen. I love the way this is shot, showing her face uh, like we're hey. about to see. Adam? Adam. Oh, because he just called her from the payphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Were you worried? I mean, I figured they would. I just didn't know how it was going to happen again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't drop all that stuff. Oh, she doesn't care about that. She just loves him. I know, but also. It is worth a lot. <laughs> it's okay. They got the friend Dave Foley to pick it all up. How long are you going to sit for this time? Ten years. Ten years. Oh, my God. I imagine he's going to introduce, but they're probably going to live up and she's going to help him adjust. Considerably shorter than before, but <sighs> why set the locks at all? I mean, the radiation's gone. To keep what's up there from getting down here. Mm. It's not radiation I'm worried about. Mom! Dad! Oh, my God. I would like for you to meet Miss Eve Rustikoff. Mrs. Weber. Hello, Mr. Weber. Oh. <laughs> Use a please. Boy, you have an air today. Yes. Quite some time. <laughs> Eve, what what can I offer you? Mom, Eve and I have to go. Oh. I want you to set the locks for two months. You've got more than enough of everything, and then we'll be right back to get you. I don't understand. And I'm asking you to trust me without understanding why. In that case, of course. <laughs> In that case. Of course. That's a son. He trusts him. Well, but just that, that, like in the 60s, I'm asking you to trust me without understanding why. In that case, of course. I wish I could say that to everybody, that I know what I'm saying is right. Gravy is an old favorite of Calvin's mother. Eat the platter. This is the first time they've had company in 30-something years. I don't mean to be nosy, but are you and Adam dating? Yeah, we are. Oh, it's official. It's truly amazing what you can get done when you have unlimited funds. Do you know you can have whole houses built in just a matter of months? Oh my God. It's like the Garden of Eden. Yeah, they could buy some little major land. It took a while to convince Archbishop Melker that Adam wasn't God until I showed him my plans for Los Angeles' hottest and most original night spot. Give me shelter. That's brilliant. Our idea was to bring Adam's parents up to the surface very slowly. He knows how to drive. I'm worried his dad passed or something. And then oh. break the bad news to them that there was no nuclear holocaust. Are they in there? Please be okay. Oh my god. Okay, good. I forgot we weren't watching a drama. <laughs> oh. oh, just like their old house. That's awesome. It's gonna be like they never left. Okay. You go. Oh, careful. <laughs> Put his head in, which is amazing. What year was the... I'm not sure what year the microwave came out. Yeah, but uh, definitely <laughs> after that. the 60s, apparently. It's absolutely beautiful. We seem to have everything, but it's not much different from a fallout shelter. No, Calvin, this is different. This is a little better. <laughs> different people are built, built for different things, you for know? For sure, for sure. By the way, Eve, her last name, Rostikov, that's not Russian. No, it's, uh, it's Ukrainian. The 60s. Right. Dad, I don't know how to tell you this. Dad, there was no bomb, a plane crash in our backyard. Ooh. I looked it up in old newspapers. You sure? Positive. Don't tell me he knew. Soviet Union collapsed without a shot being fired. One day said, bring him up. <laughs> that's that's kind of how it went. <laughs> my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Dinner time. Bye, Rose. So cute. Why spoil his dreams? They're such wonderful dreams. No one like <gasps> Oh, they got engaged. That's cute. May not be Wonder what he's looking to build. What is he measuring? Maybe a new fallout shelter? I'd yeah. See what Probably. That's exactly what it was. Awesome. Very cute film. J J J Shout out to Astapro for sponsoring us. So some fun facts about me. I've been seeing an ENT the past couple of months. Got a CT scan done for my allergies, and right now I'm trying to find time to get deviated septum surgery. So like many of you, I am someone who's tried pretty much every nasal spray you can think of because I have difficulty breathing through my nose, which leads to day-to-day -day and sleeping problems on a consistent basis. So before agreeing to this, I wanted to try them out myself because this is a serious thing I deal with. They provided me with free samples. This is my second bottle. This is without a doubt the best 
best nasal spray I have ever used. That's not some talking point. That's my very own personal testimony. Genuinely, for me, it's fantastic and lives up to how it's advertised. It's the fastest 24-hour over-the-counter solution available. It gets to work in just 30 minutes while other sprays take hours to kick in. It's also the only one out there that's steroid-free for 24-hour relief. Astapro has seriously changed the game for me, offering full prescription strength relief from nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. The difference this makes is phenomenal. It's kind of insane how this relief to my breathing and nostrils just kicks in and I'm back in action really fast. So if you're like me, battling with nasal allergies and looking for relief, get fast acting nasal allergy or symptom relief with Astapro. Go to astaproallergy.com for a discount so you can Astapro and go. It's faster with Astapro, bro. I saw that commercial. <laughs> Astapro, it's faster, bro. That's A-S-T-E-P-R-O allergy.com. Remember, use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Thank you again, Astapro, sincerely. By the way, if you guys are listening to us on Apple or Spotify, if you don't mind dropping a rating, we would appreciate it. Also, if you want to look cool, like, are you wearing one? No, you're not. But if you want to look cool like me, at least, rejectnationshop.com. Make sure you go help support the channel. Roxy, what'd you think of Blast from the Past? I think it's so cool that, like, Sissy Spacek, Brendan Fraser, Christopher Walken, like we're all in this sick movie that I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for Real Rejects, I never in my life would have watched. Like that is the true joy of this channel is that I continuously find movies that I love. Like that was to me just the best. Best. I was smiling ear to ear. I love the tone. It wasn't like it was. It felt like a comedy the way that Princess Bride feels like a comedy, where it's like not like, <laughs> you know, but it's like that is so enjoyable and endearing and sweet with like this love through line. And I'm a lover of love, shipper of ships, yeah. also values and family and. I, wow, I just really like that. Yeah, for sure. And this is a good point. There's so many films, too, that, I mean, obviously, it's first-time reaction on all of these, but that I'd never would ever dream to watch. And then, then we get to watch him here, and I'm like, oh, my God, I love this movie so much, and I'm with you. Uh, I, it, was, it started off on an interesting tone. You got, obviously, yeah. the, the Cold War, and then you got, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit dark and uh, eerie time uh, at that point, you know, the Cuban Missile Crisis and all that. Uh, and then, obviously, you know, the whole family bonding dynamic uh, in the fallout shelter and then him coming back up and it being the fish out of water, which I thought Brandon Fraser, Fraser, sorry. Brandon I don't know Fraser, if I'm right. Whichever way it is, uh, Brandon Fraser just did such, I mean, I, I think it was just such a difficult job as an actor. So difficult. Like really selling that you've been stuck in this fallout shelter for 30, 35 years or whatever it is. And just like seeing everything for the first time and having that joy on your face, like being in a, uh, an elevator, being in a hotel, seeing the, the ocean, the sky, like, but he was selling it in a way that, and you they know, kept being like, what's up there. And it's yeah. just our everyday and, and, life. It reminds you as a person, like, yeah, look up. And, and, and I love seeing everyone's reaction. Like, the sky it's though yeah like we because we take these things for granted because we see them all the time so but i thought it was a good message to like actually enjoy and live in the moment as well like to enjoy these things because we don't we only have a limited time here on this earth um so i appreciated that but again i love brendan fraser's performance uh and i think the heart of the film yeah it was the family dynamic i love that the the chemistry you know you really felt the history dynamic obviously we had to do the uh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, where we do a time exchange uh, from 35 years from the beginning. Uh, jump forward. Yeah, jump forward. Thank you. The time lapse and all that. Yeah. Um, but I think the the chemistry between Brandon Fraser and Alicia Silverstone was. They yeah, were I didn't so, even name her at the beginning. And yeah. I, she's well, you were saving. Star. You were saving it. She was fantastic. Yeah, she was great in this uh, film. And but but their chemistry was so good. I like too. Like we see at the very beginning, like he was about to get. Uh, fleeced by that card shop owner or whatever. And yeah. I like seeing right away. She's got a conscious, she's a good human being. And uh, like, she's like, no, 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 that is worth so much more. And she didn't even care that it was going to cost her her job. I mean, it wasn't the greatest job in the world, but that's not the point. It was just to show us she's a good human being. Uh, she's got good morals and she's got a, con a conscience. And I liked uh, seeing that right away in her. But again, it was the reactions uh, from her and even Dave Foley, who I liked in this film as well. <laughs> I liked seeing the reactions to seeing him like just display things for the first time. Like, why is he behaving like this? Like, that's that was the fun part in this film, too. And actually seeing the relationship develop, which I thought was done in a very 
a fun, genuine, endearing, and organic way. I think that sometimes when I watch Brendan Fraser in the past, it mm. makes me so sad that there were so many years that we didn't get him mm. just because of the experiences he had and how he stepped away for a while. Because I just think he is like unbelievably talented. He had this innocence about him, but was still so engaging and endearing and not annoying ever. For sure. Um, just this bright, sunshine you know somebody you aspire to be like and i even love little things with them explaining like what a gentleman or a lady is you know it's non-judgmental it's about people who make other people feel comfortable what a beautiful way of looking at that or like why you have table manners which i've always thought are complete bs but he says to show somebody else that you it's about them you know it's not about you being hoity-toity i just loved i think his parents were really beautiful people and and all the books he read and the, and the shows he watched and being down there and not being distracted by the horrors of the world. He just was, he had such beautiful things to share. Yeah, no, for sure. And uh, it's interesting too, like how he might have uh, been raised had they not gone down in that fall chair, the type of human being he might've been. So again, it sucks that he had to been raised down there, but I think he ended up turning out to be a better human being for it. Uh, and of course, yeah. Yeah, and also, too, I, I like the fact that, obviously, they ended up together, so, like, now she's going to help balance him out because he is such a fish out of water yeah. now that they ended up together, so I think that was just so adorable and sweet uh, as well. Um, but Completely. Yeah. I liked that I felt, and I know some people are going to get mad at me, and that's fine, but I felt like a lot of this was an allegory for religion. Obviously, we know that they think mm. that they're uh, the God, the father, the mother, right. but um, the son and the and the mother. But what I thought was so cool is that, like, the to me, the message of, and obviously you and I are Jews, so different than Christian. But like, to me, the message of Jesus is love is the fact that he's friends with um, sex workers and poor people, and his whole message is love everyone. Yeah, you know, judge. fill the world with love, and the fact that when they come up, they're they think that they are these religious figures and the point is love everyone. And I love that Brendan Fraser's character is like when he goes and she, Alicia Silverstone's like slut, whatever. And it's like, he's just like, he sees people and he just, his first instinct is just to love everyone, no yeah. matter what their, their class is like as he's skateboarding around the homeless people or whatever. And I feel like he, he, not of course he's not Jesus, but like I think that's what it's supposed to be. If they are the the idols, the people that you are coming from the ground, and you're thinking that they are uh, the sign sent for you, then what a great sign! Somebody yeah. who just loves everyone, and he hears that this guy's gay, and he's like, "Word, <laughs> like, yeah, no, love that's a great everyone." Point. Yeah, that's a great point, and also too, you could see when he was like rollerblading by the homeless guys, like you could see that that sad look of uh, yeah. that he had for those guys, but and, not judgment, just yeah. sad. And also too, like uh, when he was uh, when he came over to Alicia Silverstone's place after he'd been with the the woman, the woman who was speaking French to him too. He's like, you know, I, I gentlemanly left. I forgot what the line was. Was like, he said, hey, there's. I politely, politely left because left. I was somewhere I would rather yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. But no, that's a great way of looking at it. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, great, great film. I love the chemistry between the two of them. So strong. So strong. I think, again, that was the strong point for me. But again, the whole concept, I just think it was just a brilliant concept in general. We're going to have this family. The, uh, we're going to have this plane drop down on this house they're gonna ha uh, go down into a fall during the, shelter. Cold, war, during the yeah. cold war this is the time to set it they're gonna be down there for 30 35 years and then he's literally gonna come out be a fish out of water not know anything like just be amazed by everything i just think it's a just such a cool concept an interesting concept rather um but yeah i i really the pacing was really well done too because at first i'm feeling like have we been down here for a long time like it's a little slow getting into it but I really w liked spending time with these characters and seeing what their life was like in this bunker. You know, I, yeah. I wow, I really, I'm like taken aback by this movie because I feel like an old geezer sometimes. But you ever watch a movie like this and you're like, why don't they make movies like this anymore? Right, right. Where it's just like the the beauty of it all and the messaging of it, like just find beauty in the little things. Love everyone. Treat people with kindness no matter where they For come sure. from. Like. You know, I just think that there was so even with Alicia Silverstone's character, as you pointed out earlier, where she 
um, the first thing she does is like, I'm not going to let him get ripped off. Yeah, and that, so you know immediately, like this is a girl who, even though she says like I only like boo uh, butts and hair and whatever, like she has a a code, and she's not going to let people get messed yeah, with. Yeah, for sure. No, they were kind of, kind of fate. Uh, they were uh, they were meant for each other. That's what I'm trying to destiny. They were meant for each other. Um, and also too, I I thought there was really good character development between the two of them as well. I thought they were pretty well fleshed out as the film went along. You know, um, again, I wouldn't say, I mean, we've talked about this already. Like she was, uh, you know, she had that moral code, as you said. Um, I just felt like he, I mean, he even, I, I, I just feel like throughout the film, he was, he did a good job of just helping her find herself even more so. And, you know, I, again, I'm not going to call her, obviously she's not a rotten human being as we know what we saw, what she did, but just, I just helped, he felt, uh, helped her find, you know, I, I don't know what the Exactly what I'm trying the to say. The best version of herself. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. And I just like She was already it. good, but everybody can work on self Yeah, but I think you said too during the reaction, like she's very much into toxic behavior as we mm-hmm. saw with Nathan Fillion's character. Mm-hmm. So, I um, mean, it was good to see like- That was it, wild that he was in this Yeah, too. no, I, this was quite a cast too. Uh, it was nice to see like that she actually met a good human being. Um, obviously, again, when she found out- when she heard the story that he said, it's totally plausible that she would think like this man is psychotic and what a crazy story. So totally understandable to call uh, a doctor on that. I mean, a- any of us heard that story. We would probably most likely do the same thing. So, I mean, that was I, I didn't feel that was personally. I didn't feel that was a betrayal to him. She cared enough about him to, hey, I just want to see you get help and also fear a little bit for her life. too. <laughs> like he wants to take me underground or whatever yeah. he, he ended up saying. So I could understand her apprehension to the situation for sure. Completely. I also love that when they figure out they have all this money, like the messaging of like, they still wanted to keep it simple. He wanted to build his parents that home because it meant something. Not be, He could have taken millions of dollars and built this huge concrete glass sky, right, whatever. But he he wanted to give them safety and yeah. security. And, and that's what money could buy him instead of like, you know, I just, that's so cool. That, that was another one of the lessons of this. Like, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And we saw throughout the whole film, like money really didn't mean anything to him. I mean, he was trying to pass around cards to her that were worth thousands and thousands of dollars just like because he's just a good person at heart. So yeah, I, it only I, means yeah. something to us because we've made it mean more to us and hold higher value. Yeah, for sure. Um, what do you think? Should we read some fun facts? I got you. Let's yeah. see. I almost grabbed your phone. I was going to mm. say, go ahead. Mm. Go for it. Let's see. Okay. We have about 16% worth of fun facts. Okay. What was it? Blast from the Past. Blast from the Past. I can't believe I've never even heard of this movie. I've heard of it. I know. You told me that, but I have not. Um, Okay. Well, I am curious also. Hugh Wilson. So you said that- He directed Police Academy. Mm -hmm. He directed Dudley Do-Right the same year. So he directed the same year as this movie. Mm -hmm. He directed Brandon Fraser. uh, Fraser. In uh, Dudley Do Right. Oh, so. he did 22 episodes of Frank's Place. That's oh. interesting. Ah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. A lot uh, that he wrote for, too. Interesting. Have you ever seen Police Academy or no? I don't know. Huh. I never know until I look something up. Yeah. You could ask me in a year if I've seen this and I won't know. And then I'll have to look at it and see. Well, you guys let us know in the comments if you want uh, Roxy and anyone else on the team to do Police Academy. I don't know. Maybe I've seen it, though. Yeah. Um, if she hasn't. Okay. There was this movie somebody asked me the other day about um, after after whatever it was Will Smith after Earth and I was like I've never heard of that never seen it and then and, I looked at it and, and I was like oh I I've, saw that <laughs> I have not seen it but I've heard awful it was not things. great um, okay <laughs> you know, what do we got um, oh Adam's coat that was made by his mother was made from the same fabric that his parents bedspread is made of oh, I didn't catch that but I did not catch that at all that interesting so fact great. that's cool oh this is wild in 2015 a Mickey Mantle rookie card sold for you want to guess at an auction 60, 60 no 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 uh, I'm going to go $75,000 $525,000 Jesus oh my god I knew those cards were worth insane amounts I would never have guessed that oh my god wow okay. you know what I'm before you read the next one you know what I'm still so upset about someone stole them when I was a kid all my Pokemon cards and those are worth so much now yeah my brother just sold all of mine and I was like but those are mine he's like but I sold them and I was like those are mine. I think that's messed up. You, you deserve uh, most you. of that. I am super with you. Uh, 
Dave Foley has admitted that his performance as Troy was a direct copy of his Riley character from the Steps segment in his series, The Kids in the Hall. Did you ever hear? No? Never. The only thing I've ever seen Dave Foley in was uh, I Am Pat, I think, or Pat. And uh, what's the, the movie um, with Kurt Russell and Kelly Preston, uh, the hero movie? I'm like blanking right now. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies ever. I will think of it, or you guys will let me know in the comment section. Sorry, continue. Uh, all the valuable baseball cards in Adam's collection are actually inexpensive modern reprints from mm, the 1980s that, and 90s. That makes sense. Be, because if, sure. if I was on set, I'm like, uh, while, Cal while living in the bunker, Calvin unsuccessfully attempts to explain the game of baseball to a young Adam. When Adam leaves the bunker, he gets to witness a game upon which he states, now I get it. You have to actually see it to understand. The game he is watching is, in fact, softball, not baseball. I was actually going to say that while we were filming or while we were doing the reaction. I was going to say this. I mean, it's technically baseball and softball. I mean, they're very similar. But I was going to say while we were reacting, this is softball, not baseball. But I'm glad you got to mention it in the facts. There's not that many facts on this. I mean, no, no that's kind of wild. Um for his work clothes, Adam wears a one-piece zipper front coverall. This was popular among home woodworking and auto hobbyists in the early 60s. It's all kind of just like little tidbits like that. Mm. Um, yeah, it's kind of what we got. It seems like there's not that that much on this movie. I also saw, too, the choreographer was Adam Shankman. He did the, uh, what's that movie called with John Travolta and uh, what's her name? Uh God, I'm blanking today on names. And Christopher Walken was in Michelle Pfeiffer. Olivia Newton John. No, 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 no. You're thinking Greece. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we'll, we'll look it up afterwards. Um, you guys know which movie it was. I think it was 2007. It came out. It was Adam Shankman directed it. But from the choreography, I could see why. Um, I can't think of the movie though right now. It's 2007 with Christopher Walken and uh, and. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, like I said, in I, 2007, directed by Adam Shankman, Ad, that that isn't hairspray. It's hairspray. Thank you. That you were talking about hairspray. I was talking about hairspray. Yes. It said he was the director of that movie. Was the choreographer for this film? It said. I see. So yeah, and they got Christopher Walken in that. Anyways, um, like I said, I love this movie. The chemistry between the two leads, fantastic. The idea in general. Fish out of water, coming into modern times, living in a fallout shelter. I just think it's a wonderful concept. Yeah. Executed to perfection. Brandon Fraser, perfect for this film. I thought he nailed everything. Just the wonder in his face and his eyes. Uh, er everyone else from the all the uh, actors that they got to for reactions to his uh, wonder and excitement to all the extras. Everyone just did a solid job in this film. I loved all the dynamics, all the relationship, the history, the family dynamic as well. Just everything solid across the board for me. I'd probably give this one, go like an 8.2 out of 10. What about you? Um, I don't know. Don't know. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I thought it was great. I, I don't know out of 10. Great out of 10. That yeah, works yeah, for yeah. me. I like I it. I don't know. That's I, a good I hate when right after I watch something and then people hold me fresh. to it. And then <laughs> later on, I'm like, I love that. And they're like, you only gave it a da 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 But like, yeah. no, that's a, I think that's it, a fair point. I yeah, think, I think 8.2 is a perfectly uh, fair score. Okay. That, that, that's great. That's a fair point. But just looking up when in his career this was and all the things he did around this, um, it's just crazy how talented he is. Really, truly. Are we talking about uh, Brandon Fraser? Fraser? Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know what did you think of this film, Blast from the Past? Are there other films like this that you would like Roxy, myself, anyone else on the team to react to? Other Brandon Fraser, Alicia Silverstone films? Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Just please be kind of gentle. Uh, we read them Roxy, always. Yes, Roxy and I read all the comments. We so, really uh, do. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, we had a great time. This was a lot of fun. Great film. And uh, we shall see you guys on the next one. Later. Later.